Welcome to this demonstration of the CAST Highlight Code Reader. This is a locally installed application used for analyzing the source code files of an application before uploading the results into the CAST Highlight SAS portal for further analysis. After downloading and installing the Code Reader installation files and installing it, and then launching the Code Reader locally, you'll be presented with this main screen. From this screen, you can click in the upper right to see the current version of the Code Reader you're using. And to start the process, you click on the Add Folders button. This launches a pop-up that allows you to select the specific folders that you want to analyze where your source code files are located. You could add as many folders as you choose. Clicking on the Advanced Setting button brings up advanced settings, such as filtering on specific technologies or programming languages. You could also exclude specific items such as directories by simply typing their names, files, specific paths. And then at the bottom there's miscellaneous options that were formerly only available in our command line interface but they're now available in this graphical user interface in the code reader. On the right you could turn on the option to upload the scan results automatically after completing the scan. You'll just need to enter all of the required information such as server URL, company identifier, etc. If you don't have this information, contact your portfolio manager. Then save your settings and launch your scan. The Cast Highlight code reader will then go ahead and scan through the folders and subfolders indicated on the previous screen. After the scan completes, you're presented with a summary. It lists the technologies detected, file extensions, number of files, etc. You could then go ahead and save these results it will save a zip file locally to your machine where indicated. Back in the Cast Highlight campaign management screen, you select Upload Results, you select that zip file that the code reader generated, and upload it into that screen. This will then start processing the results and you can click Submit to complete the process of this campaign and the application scan process. Back in the code reader, you have other options such as saving the logs for technical support if necessary. You have a link to read the more detailed tutorial. You can also save your cast highlight.properties file for further use. That will save the scan properties that you set in this session. You could also initiate a rescan by simply clicking the rescan button. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the cast highlight code reader.